what's up guys hope you're having an amazing day welcome back to the channel now before i even talk about this video um don't say anything about my glasses my allergies are killing me my eyes look like i have been smoked for the last month uh looks very red and i have a light on here which is also going to be killing me if i just sit down in front of this light without glasses on so just see past these glasses and just enjoy this video today i want to share with you guys something um i would say something very inspiring and i say that because it has really inspired me and even after the photos obviously i'm going to be talking about photography here but after the photos uh the conversation after that and some things that i'll be sharing with you guys in this video today just made everything make sense and um thanks to the model for allowing me to talk about this for allowing me to photograph her and for allowing me to share something so sensitive um to to you guys so you might be asking what is it edmund just share with us well three weeks ago all of you guys are very familiar with malik uh, well this time malik wasn't in front of the camera uh, he was behind the camera so three weeks ago malik reached out to me and asked if he could come here and do a shoot and that if i could assist him on the shoot and obviously I said yes uh, without even thinking about it. Um, so Malik came over and he told me there's going to be a model that is going to come um, model for him and that they'll be doing a shoot here um, in the studio and some outdoor. And I'm like, okay, that's fine with me. The model came, we all went out, we just shot around the neighborhood um, assisted Malik in, in, in shooting the, the photos. We came back in here. Um, I let him have my Mamiya C330 and did some photo shoot in here. The day was very fun. We, we had so much fun. The shoot went well. Everything was great. Malik and I, after the model had left, Malik and I stayed and developed the film. Um, and everything was great. Now, before the model left, um, just out of just knowing each other you know you met somebody for the first time there's going to be conversations you want to know about them they want to know about you um she kind of like um mentioned that oh she's had a surgery before and out of curiosity you know i said oh sorry sorry that you had to go through that but what what was the surgery for and she said she had a spine surgery. And that really got me like shocked in some way, but I don't know why, but it was just like thinking about it like somebody had a spine surgery. I mean, it was years ago, uh, but it just struck me and just wanted to know more and what happened. And I am not somebody, if you know me, I'm not somebody who really like um, asks too much questions about people unless they like decide to open up and talk about them. I don't really ask more questions past what they, um, they've, they've told me or they are telling me. But this one got me really curious. And whilst we're talking about it, she kind of uh opened her phone and showed her some photos of when she had just done the surgery and that was ah uh, man um i i i can only imagine what she she went through when she did the surgery and what she has to go through after the surgery that day went by you know we ended up on that conversation on a positive note so after they've left, after um, Sabrina, that's the name of the model, um, after she had left, um, I kept thinking about it and wondering how she's still 
able, based on what she explained and which you guys will get to know, um, how she's still able to do all the stuff she's doing, living her life um, so positive and happily. And I don't expect her to not be that, but it's just like the energy was different from somebody who had had a spinal surgery. Um, so I reached out to her and asked if we could do um, something around the surgery, something around her spine, um, just to tell the story, just to make people aware, um, just to create awareness and yeah, just to make something meaningful out of something so tragedy that she's gone through. Um, and she said yes to it. So she came over, we, we did some shoot, obviously. Um, we didn't just go straight to the point and took photos of her spine. Um, we first took some photos of her as the model, you know, create some beautiful black and white photos, create some beautiful um, color photos. I shot two rolls that day, um, Kodak Tri-X and Portra 400. We didn't do any behind the scene. There is not going to be no behind the scene in this video, but um, Sabrina had already done a spoken word about her surgery, about the whole thing, how it happened and what went on. Um, the doctor that did it, she had to do another second surgery. She talked all about it in, in a spoken word. Um, initially, she had sent me uh, the in written um, about the whole thing and I was going to share it on my Instagram but I just thought maybe I should make a video and talk about it and so I'll be still posting the photos on my Instagram with the written part for people to also read but also here instead of me reading it out or instead of me uh, putting it on the screen for you guys to read I just want you you guys to hear her say it and with, with the kind of passion and emotion that was in, in, in the spoken word. So as she's giving out her words, um, I'll be showing some slide, slideshow or some of the photos that we made together. And Sabrina has given me um, the go ahead to use the photos uh, the personal photos that she sent me, uh, the video from the spoken word, uh, she's given me permission to, to, to use it. So um, thank you so much, Sabrina, for doing this and for letting me share this with the rest of uh, the world. Um, and I really do appreciate it. And I hope you guys really enjoy this. To the man who approached me after I parked in my handicapped spot, Hatred painted your face with transparency so I could see your every thought. She ain't blind, she can hear just fine. Doesn't look like demons have incapacitated her mind. She can walk and her body looks pretty aligned. She's clearly not handicapped, so who the fuck does she think she is parking in that spot? He thought, looks like a lesson needs to be taught. He got a cousin in a wheelchair, so this must have really got him distraught. Finally, an opportunity to show some resistance like a white man's first boycott. You felt so inclined to speak on behalf of the divine and all of mankind to tell me that I'm disgusting and that I should save that spot for somebody who actually needs it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Oh, thank you. Thank you for making me feel like a piece of shit, so much so that when I got home that day, I couldn't help it but sit and cry to my mother, regretting that I did not lift up my shirt to show him the mural of scars that the surgeon had painted on my skin, regretting that I did not force that man to listen to my story, to hear my allegory about how a doctor in a white coat said the only way to fix the achiness from the curvature in my back would be to realign my spine like a medical carpenter with my body being the furniture. The words of the surgeon had been cultivated with precision like a lying politician with a charismatic audition. Three, one inch turned into three, five inch incisions. The minimally invasive technique that the surgeon said would have me up and walking around a mall in three weeks left me paralyzed in bed for three months, three hours surgery 
three, lasted six, two days stay, turned into seven with 36 pills a day, morphine, shot up my vein every eight minutes, couldn't even take away an ounce of the pain, like the inefficacy of shooting up cocaine, blood sucked out my body, like a vampire through a JP drain, had a two liter blood transfusion, inebriating my body with a stranger's thick red liquid like Cabernet. I wish that man could have heard how 16 years of my life had passed, but it was not until my nurses removed the bandages, unmummified where I was crucified, that I ever saw my dad cry. I woke up from the anesthesia on a midazolam high, asking why, why, why does it hurt to breathe? Lie after lie had escaped through the crevices between that surgeon's teeth in literature. It's called sarcasm when you say the opposite of what you mean. Hyperbole is a form of verbal irony, irony like the smell of blood that intoxicated my nose, tyranny, my body became a casualty of a capitalistic society, my lungs became incarcerated behind the two titanium rods and 18 screws that now line my spine that became the bars of my body's jail cell, where every breath, even shallow ones, felt like someone was using a knife to scrape out my flesh. I wish that man could have heard how six months after my surgery, over 500 lawsuits broke out against the surgeon, revealing that he had been purposefully messing up patients' backs, performing double to triple the amount of surgeries, attaining big-ass money stacks, funding mansions with private cul-de-sacs and Cadillacs, and hospitals were silent because man, oh man, did they love those kickbacks, sit back like they watching their favorite quarterback while they throw back a six-pack, but house arrest gave that surgeon a panic attack, so he fled the country on a private jet to save his own ass. I didn't even have a lawsuit. I just wanted to be able to breathe. I remember after each appointment, I'd sit in the car with my mom and scream tears, flooding like the Red Sea. God, how could you do this to me? I've never been religious, but desperation got me down on my knees to pray and plead. I couldn't quite see how this could happen merely because someone was greedy, thirsty for money, and the manifestation is man-made disability. In summary, I took a year off to get a revision surgery, had everything taken out and put back in properly, and the minute that I got out, it no longer hurt to breathe. Unincarcerated underneath, but still suffocated by society's misperception of invisible disability. Whenever that part of me sneaks into the realm of visibility based on the services I sometimes need. I just hope you listen before you judge the pain that you can't see and understand that conversation about identity is a much more effective means of getting answers than trying to see the unseen. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed that. I was emailing with Sabrina and she sent me some uh, very wise um, message that she was talking about. Uh, disability and all of that and so she's a very positive person and I will leave her Instagram in the description below so you guys can go and follow her so I hope you guys enjoy this video and on that note I will be ending the video here but I would also like to say if you did enjoy this please 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 hit the like button um, if you didn't it's okay you can hit the dislike I'm not wanting that but if you think that is what I deserve I deserve it but if you think you loved it please hit that like button subscribe if you haven't already I have another interesting video coming next week hopefully um, and and more videos coming in the future so I appreciate you watching um, I am trying to raise some money because I am going to Ghana uh, this fall and I'm very, very excited about. Uh, I haven't seen the family in, in a very long time and I am very, very glad that I get to see them this year. Um, last year, things happened and it really got to me. And so this year I decided to go and see the family and also to make a project out of my trip because I will be there for three months so if you would like to support me uh, financially for this trip because it's not cheap and based on how many projects, based on the kind of projects I want to, I want to go do, um, I need help. So um, to, to raise money for myself, to raise money for the trip, I have decided to talk about my zine that I made last year. And if you would like to 
purchase one to support me i really appreciate it link is going to be in the description uh below and uh to, to, to support my channel to support the project um if you also like to donate i will take that either film or cash or whatever you would like to help me with um i i normally don't do this but this time i'm like i really do need it so um i appreciate you guys for watching thank you for following along with my work and this channel i'll see you guys in the next video but until then go hit the street be safe out there and you don't forget always create to inspire see you guys in the next video i know how it will feel to be free i wish i could break all the chains holding me say all the things that I should say say them loud say them clear for the whole round world to hear I wish I could share all the love that's in my heart